Hey, what's up guys? I'm really due for a dreadlock update. It's been over a week, close to two weeks on my dreadlocks. And in today's video is just to break down a little update on everything that's going on. I actually just hopped out of the shower. The way I've been showering, like I've mentioned in other videos, is I'm actually pulling up my hair, keeping it in a tight bun. I've also done another video of me uh, showering with these duck clips in, which I'll leave a link to these duck clips in the uh, in the description. And also I'll leave a link to uh, the headbands or the hair ties that I use in the description as well. Let's see if I have one down here. Uh, there's actually not one in there, but I'm gonna take this one out really quick and show you guys what my hair is looking like. And I'm going to be doing a slight, very light uh, retwist in today's video because I am actually going to a graduation banquet. I'm actually graduating from college tomorrow and uh, that's really exciting, but I don't want my hair to look all fuzzy and frizzy. And for some reason, I feel like I chose the wrong time to actually start dreadlocks. And I believe there are like perfect times to actually start, or I would say better times to start. Like I wouldn't recommend starting in the summer. I would recommend starting in the winter times uh, because of, you know, the heat, which will result in, which will result in sweat, which will result in buildup on the scalp. Um, winter's like an ideal time to start. Um, summer, not 100% ideal but it's okay to start in the summertime. But the hair is staying in its sections really well. And I'm actually really excited on how everything looks. The appearance of how these look are really good compared to what I was thinking they were gonna turn out as. But I know that the more I put into these, the better they actually look. And that's kind of just the way it goes. The more time you spend like putting time into, uh, you know, making your dreads look the way you want them to, the better they're gonna look and the way and they're actually gonna start looking the way you want them to. This is the hair tie I was talking about. These are from Scooney, and I'll leave a link to these in the description as well, like I said. Also, I'm doing a, what I would call a no product retwist, but if I were to be doing a product retwist, I'd be using the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. This is the resistant formula. Really like this one. Uh, I feel it works a little better for me, but it is all personal preference. I'll leave a link to the resistant formula and the original formula down below as well. I'm about half of a month through um, the dreadlocking process. I'm gonna go ahead and just start on um, twisting my hair really quick while I'm talking But I'll show you just watch what I'm doing as far as what I call a light retwist I don't even use clips during this retwist. All I do is I literally twist Hold it twist hold it and then just keep handing it off to this hand until they're all done and then I'll pull it all up But making sure that I do it as best as possible, but it's the quickest way to do it as well but these haven't been a burden. They've been really cool um, to have. And at the same time, I'm surprised the way they look and how they're turning out. Because like I said, the first, the first time I actually started my dreadlocks, I started out with towel rub, eventually went to crochet hooking. And then after that, I did twisting a gel. So now just doing twisting a gel as the, you know, the process that I choose. Overall, it's pretty interesting to see the results you get from it um, because it is different. You get different looks for each method that you choose or different uh, ways of maintenance that you choose. The looks are different for all of them. So like I said, it's really cool seeing how my hair texture looks with the twisting gel. So if you're a person, I would recommend, I would recommend if you're a person who gets dreadlocks for the style, Say you get them and then eventually you get rid of them like how I did and you comb them out and say you want to get them back. I would recommend doing doing it a different way than you originally got them because to tell you the truth, if I were to do these the best way that I possibly know to lock them up instantly, they would have already been locked up and ready to go and looking pretty mature already. But I want to choose this route because this is what I would call like an OG route, a way that is very classic and um, I wanna see how it turns out. Because this is the method that when I started my dreadlocks the first time, I thought my hair was impossible to lock up. This is the method that I was like, there's no way that'll work on my hair. But it is pretty cool to see how my hair turns out now, having the knowledge and how to actually take care of them and maintain them. But so far, this is my fourth retwist. I feel like all I'm doing now is just retwisting. Um, like that's the number one thing that I've been doing lately is just a bunch of retwists. Cause I mean, I've probably retwisted my hair almost half the amount of days that I've had them. 
Well, to tell you the truth, probably, I mean, obviously less, but I've been retwisting it a lot. That's how much I've been retwisting, it seems like. But uh, as you guys can see, I'm basically just twisting the hair and grabbing it with this hand, holding it, like I mentioned. But the products that I've used so far, I've used Jamaican Mango and Lamb Locking Gel. I've used those duck clips, I used the hair ties, I used the spray bottle. But I mean like the only hair product, like a actual like, I don't know what you call it, just like a product what would come to mind, is just the locking gel. I really like that locking gel. Um, I haven't tried any of Jamaican Mango and Lime's, any uh, other products, but I do like their locking gel. Um, I've tried other locking gels, but I don't think other ones have are as good as Jamaican Mango and Lime's. Okay, so I'm on the last dread on this side of my head. So I'm already almost complete with this quick retwist. And these are really good. This is what I used to do during the earlier stages of my uh, dreads the first time. Every time I got out of the shower, I would do a light retwist just like this. So now that I got all these, I am gonna put duck clips actually on this while I do the other side. Okay. I've showered with these already three times. I've got them wet four times. I went swimming with them already. So that's part of the update as well. These are all things that I was like iffy to try just because I thought they were gonna fall out and not be locked up anymore or have their sections anymore. But truth of the matter is if you focus on, you know, maintaining your hair and not over maintaining, but maintaining it enough to where it stays where you want it to be, then everything kind of turns out good. As long as you're like diligent with what you're doing and actually trying and being patient along the way. Because if I wasn't patient, I would want these to lock immediately. And realistically, that's not really going to happen. I have learned new methods on how to actually take care of my hair that I've never really seen other people do, like wearing clips into the shower um, so that they don't unravel. That's a really big tip that um, will help a lot of people out is um, if you really um, just use duck clips in the shower and lightly wash your hair, that's going to help you out a whole bunch. And that's one of the things that I didn't know anybody could do or anybody has tried, which I'm sure people have, but not many people, I haven't heard it from anybody. So I'm telling you guys so that you know, because it will definitely help you out. Another thing is wearing a really tight bun. I wasn't sure if that was going to work out, but it really works out good. I really forgot how much this taxes your shoulders while doing a retwist. Like this is a real workout. All right guys, got one more, got one more lock to do. And I'll be done with this retwist and then I'll talk more about uh, my experience with this second set of dreads. Okay, there we go. Now here's the part to where I'm going to take out this clip and then pull it all up. So I'm actually going to throw my head down. I'm just gonna pull all these up together. I'm gonna take the hair ties that I told you about and I'm gonna do it as tight as I possibly can into a bun. Now the only thing about this is that um, one thing that I don't really prefer is doing a bun with these just because when I take them out they're gonna be really I would say like you know bent because these unfortunately will hold their shape really well once I take it out, especially because my hair is wet right now, putting it in a bun, once I take it out, it's it's gonna be bent in some sort of way. Another update today, I actually got my first fade by someone else, not me, with the dreadlocks. So my boy Diddy actually gave me a fade and I haven't got a fade by him in over a month, maybe close to two months because the last four times I cut my hair by myself. But I'll give you guys a quick, I'm gonna brush all this up real quick. I'm gonna brush all my hair really quick where it's supposed to be. And then I'll go, and then I'll show you guys a quick 360. Okay guys, so this is what my hair is looking like right now. I do have it pulled up, but um, I'm super stoked on the way my hair is looking. And I'm really glad that I'm, I'm going through this whole process. Um, just so I can see really how it feels. 
to do the twisting route. I think it does help a lot of you guys out too because this is one of the most common routes to do twisting with gel. I would say second to that right now is probably doing sponge or towel rub because that really took off I think a couple years ago. Doing sponge rub is one of those things that is really popular just because the nappy look is very popular. A lot of people turn those into freeform dreadlocks. But all those people out there who have maintained dreads really started with twisting with gel. And this is the this is the route that really makes your hair look really coiled up, very maintained, very clean. And if you're going for that look, this is the dreadlocks that give you that look. But you guys, let's update. My hair is still pretty wet. I'm gonna finish getting ready because I'm going to this banquet tonight, like I said. For graduation yo comment down congratulations because i'm graduating college and i'm super stoked i think that's a great accomplishment this is actually before i go into another six years of college but it's a real big accomplishment and i'm excited for that so i'm gonna go get dressed for the uh, this banquet that i'm going to and um i'll definitely keep updating you guys on my dreadlocks my starter locks and uh we'll see what what comes out of them and like if you if you guys remember the day i started them they have definitely improved a lot. They're way tighter, and that's a good sign for starter dreads. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Everything that I mentioned in today's video is gonna be linked down below. I think this is the first video I ever filmed with me not having my glasses on the entire video. And the reason I don't have them is because I usually take them off anyways when I do stuff like this, and I actually just hopped out of the shower. But don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com where you have all your dreadlock or hair needs and dreadlock tutorials and hair tutorials. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.